This is Christina Oler for Journalism 215 Multimedia Reporting. Um, I'm going to be discussing in this video editing statement my fourth assignment for this class, which was the video interview with B-Roll. For this assignment, I chose a girl named Emily Montgomery, who is the vice president, treasurer, and a choreographer for the Vitality Dance Team. Uh, the dance team is an RSO on campus. They perform for smaller venues. Um, for this project, I think I had some really good A role and B role that I took. I was really happy with the way that turned out. Um, the A role, she answered my questions very thoroughly, but didn't uh, force me to cut out anything. She, you know, really stuck within a um, amount of time that worked well. She repeated the question back to me so that, you know, it fit really well in the interview format. And um, the B-roll was also um, something that I was really happy with because it was very visually fun to watch. Uh, it's a lot of clips of her dancing, um, stills of her stretching and different dance tricks she can do. So I think that this subject matter was really a good one for this project because it was so, um, you know, visually appealing in terms of the B-roll footage. And it gave me a lot to play with when I was editing it uh, with the A-roll footage. Um, I did run into a few problems with it. As I was editing, I realized one issue that I had is I didn't get as many um, stills of different parts around the uh, dance room as I probably could have. And I think that was in part sort of when I was going through and actually recording this, I there wasn't anything really that stuck out to me. You know, it was a big empty room, gym room with mirrors at the arc where she normally practices. And with the exception of her and um, a few cubbies in the corner for other classes, there really wasn't too much interesting um, footage that I could add that didn't include her that would really help tell the story. So in hindsight, I do wish that I had more, you know, maybe of her feet, of her bag, but otherwise I think that was the main reason I didn't get as much of that um, cutaway footage as I would have liked. Um, and Another thing that I had an issue with was with the A-roll, she happened to answer my questions really quickly after I would ask them. So when I would say something to her, she immediately would respond. And when I was trying to edit that down, uh, it got really hard and I had to get really into the fine seconds of the um, footage to get her to answer the question without any of my voice in it. So I think that overall, this uh, project turned out really well, and I'm, I'm very proud of the end result of it, and I think that going forward, I can learn from the mistakes I made here.